today you will be uh, forging a, a new commission. You want to describe that a bit? Um, so basically a Scottish basket hilt sword and a matching dirt to go with it. Perfect. And we are also going to be doing the ladder pattern on these, correct? Yes. Is what you guys yeah. are doing yeah. We're, yeah. we're really excited to try out uh, Coal Ironworks ladder dies. Awesome. <laughs> I'm super <laughs> stoked for it. And uh, we'll get to work from there. So thanks for watching. Let's get to work. All right, so we are here day two of working on this Scottish dirk. So first of all, I've got the rough shape of this dirk uh, forged out. There's gonna be a little bit of cleaning up and profiling on the grinder as we go. Uh, I've got a little bit of extra material at the end. Um, I always like to have more, more Damascus than I need, so I never have too little. The plan from here is to basically chop this off do a little bit of normalizing on the blade, some thermocycling, and then uh, you know get it nice and straight. And then I'll start profiling on the grinder and uh, get some bevels ground in uh, before doing a heat treat. Thank you. 
right, so we're getting to a point where we're going to be able to etch this blade and see this nice ladder Damascus pattern. I really just cleaned up one side so that the Damascus will pop. We're gonna go ahead and dip it in ferric chloride, which is a highly corrosive acid, which will basically eat the two different steels at, uh, at different rates. And then, you know, once I pull it out, you'll be able to see the difference between the two layers, and then I can go over and sand it with some high grit sandpaper and uh, hit those high layers of 15 and 20 and really make the Damascus pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, what I've heard called the vanity etch, which is where you just dip it really quickly and, uh, and find out what it's gonna look like and then we'll leave it in for, uh, you know, half an hour to an hour or something like that and, and see uh, how that does. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, when I etch, I like etching for almost an hour, which yeah. I know is a lot longer than a lot of guys. That's but typically what I do. Yeah, I mean, I like a creating getting enough of a of a topography almost you know where you get your highs and lows and it's mm -hmm. not just on the surface it's i like to be able to feel a little bit of the difference between the two exactly two steels yeah it's more durable and a lot more contrast so that's gonna look lovely so yeah we're gonna we're gonna have dinner and uh we're gonna etch that while we eat so before work all right so this uh knife has been in the ferric chloride for about half an hour maybe 40 minutes so what i'm planning on doing you can't see it too can't see the pattern too well right now until I get it cleaned up. What I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna wash it, neutralize the ferric chloride. Typically I would do that in a, you know, a solution of like water and baking soda. But here I'm just gonna wash it with some soap and water. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit it with some steel wool to uh, kind of get rid of the, the uh, surface layer of, uh, of ferric chloride. And then uh, I'm gonna sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper to hit the high spots so we can see what this, uh, what this looks like now. All right, so here is the finished pattern. I, I still am going to be doing some more grinding. Uh, this is more to show you guys what it's gonna look like. So the pattern will change slightly, but uh, this is an idea of what the uh, ladder pattern Damascus dies will do. I'm probably going to be etching it a little bit longer so that I can have a, a more dramatic uh, difference between the two types of steel. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so after two long and uh, very fun days, Dale here has got to be exhausted. I feel lazy as the primary cameraman. Mark, you've been doing a lot of good work too. But this guy's worked his ass off and he has made an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful pattern welded. I almost called it a sax. Right now it kind of looks very it looks sax -ish. Sax -ish. <laughs> sax -ish. sax -ish. sax -ish. sexy. Sexy or sexy. But uh, no, this is a, uh, a dirk, a Scottish dirk. I love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful blade. It'll only get more beautiful as you grind and temper it. It was an absolute pleasure to have you guys out. I, I've admired your work for a long time. I appreciate your guys' friendship as colleagues in the craft and as brothers in life. And uh, I can't wait to see how this turns out. Lord willing, Dale's plan is for them to get it done for Blade Show in Atlanta, Georgia this year. And fingers crossed, uh, Blade Show will be happening amidst Hopefully. the chaos of the world. Coal Ironworks, we will be there and have a booth. and. These fine gentlemen will be uh, wandering around with blades in hand, maybe, but uh, I know we've talked about we'd also love to display this at the table because yeah. we've got many coal iron collaborative pieces to display. Uh, but for those of you who don't already know your work, and of course you guys shared your, your business is Windburn Steel, where can they find you online and how can they place a commissioned order if they'd like to? Windburn Steel at, in Instagram and uh, Windburn Knives or Windburn Steel, I believe you can find us on Facebook, and that's where most of our work comes from. So cool. Yeah, if you're interested in a commission, uh, we're taking commissions. We've got a bit of a backlog, but uh, definitely taking commissions. You just message us on one of those two platforms. And... Cool. So thank you guys for watching. We want to create, of course, a lot more content out here. And I should have mentioned at the beginning, this is obviously a very new setting as opposed to the last couple of videos. We are in a brand new building here at Coal Ironworks, and uh, I've got my business here, Cedar Lore Forge, and I'm thankful to be shop mates with my friends here at Coal Ironworks, and I look forward to filming a lot more content and sharing it with you guys right here on the Coal Ironworks YouTube page and all over social media. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Go follow these fine gentlemen's work, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.